Oh, oh my gosh, there is no way I have gonorrhea. There is absolutely a mistake because my husband and I are faithful to each other and I would never have done all this screening if I hadn't been pregnant, so there's a mistake. The test is absolutely wrong, I'm telling you now. I believe you. I filled out the form myself and I submitted it to the lab, so the problem isn't there. I don't know. Um, the lab must have made a mistake. You need to fix this. Well, I'm going to give the lab a call and see what they tell me. Wait here and I'll be right back. Okay. Hello, Dr. Forward. Hi, Dr. Forward. Dave LaPierre here. I'm just seeing a patient of mine who's tested positive for gonorrhea on her prenatal screening. She's asymptomatic and convinced that the test is wrong. And I don't know what to tell her. So the requisition was, uh, was not mislabeled and the specimen was appropriately labeled? Yeah, I did it myself. Well, we've just introduced a new PCR test for gonorrhea and I know that it's exquisitely sensitive, much more sensitive than uh, culture. And it's supposed to be quite specific. About, uh, about three in a thousand tests are, are false positives. Now, tell me about the patient. Uh, she has no, she uh, 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 has no risk factors, no recent uh, uh, changes in sexual partner, nothing to uh, to hint that she might be infected. No, no risk factors at all, and she's adamant the test is wrong. Well, uh, gonorrhea is pretty uncommon in Nova Scotia these days. Only about three per thousand of the tests sent to our lab are positive for gonorrhea. Uh, and of course, many of those patients have uh, have very few risk factors, uh, but few of them have no uh, risk factors uh, as your patient does. Uh, do you remember uh, from medical school how to calculate the positive predictive value of test in a setting like this, where, for instance, the specificity is 99.7 percent, and the prevalence in the population is uh, is about three per thousand? Well, I learned about it, but I haven't really understood how to use it. Can you help me? Pause the video and figure out what I should say to my patient. She's pretty upset. I've thought about it and it's still not all that clear. Can you help me out? Well, remember what, a, what the predictive value of a positive test is. It's uh, uh, it's really a reflection of the number of true positives over the number of true positives plus false positives. So if our lab were to test a thousand women with very few uh, risk factors or symptoms for gonorrhea, we might get three true positive tests, but we would also get three false positive tests. So essentially 50 percent of all of the positive tests we got would be false positive. Put another way, the predictive value of a, uh, of a positive test in a circumstance like this is only 50 percent. So, um, you know, it's very likely that your patient, in fact, doesn't have gonorrhea. What I would suggest you do in a circumstance like this is actually to send in a, a specimen for gonorrhea culture. It's, uh, it's uh, far more uh, far more specific, and we can give you uh, a, a, a result, a positive result, with absolute certainty. So you better go back to your patient and reassure her, because in all likelihood, uh, she's correct, and, and you're correct in suspecting that this is a false positive. Thanks so much. I'll reassure her and send in a new sample right away. Have a good afternoon. Bye.